let's look at a few examples where I'm going to explain how we can multiply fraction starting with a simplest no, uh, number uh, simplest example so first question is six times half so instead of telling you the answer what does this mean so if you want to write this in English or in words how do you write this so what are they asking six times half they're asking you if you divide six into half okay so how many halves or if you divide six into two parts so this basically is six divided by two okay you're dividing so there are how many if you divide six into half there are how many what would be the answer okay so yeah okay if you want to draw a diagram so this is if you split this in say half so this is one this is one group okay and this is the other group so this is split in two groups okay so the answer is three yeah so six times half is same as six divided by two which is three that means when you're dividing this into halves each of this half will have how many number that is three so six times half is same as six divided by two this is also a good thing to remember six times half is same as six divided by two so here the next question is half times quarter so here the, the question is so when you divide a half into quarter you will get how many so the question is what is the question is what is one quarter of a half one quarter of a half okay, or it can also be what is if it, it can also be what is half of a quarter the one and the same thing so I have drawn so this is a pie I have split this into eight parts okay now yeah so let me select so this is so let me take uh, okay so let me go back so this is this is divided in so they you've got four parts in the top and four parts in so each of this section is I hope you can understand is one eighth each of this part is one eighth so let me delete it so let me take only one section out and I hope you can see this is one eighth okay each of this section or each of this sector or you can say cake is one eighth so we want a half a quarter of a half so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this away I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to cancel delete it so yeah look at the diagram so now you've got a half okay so now this half the question is this what is quarter of a half so when you're doing quarter of a half you are splitting this into four parts so this is these are four parts what is a quarter so each of them is a quarter so this is the one half has been divided into four equal parts so each of them is one eighth each of them is one eighth so here the answer is one eighth so what is a half what is a quarter of a half or a half of a quarter is one eight but when you do the maths you do like this so one half times a quarter so when you're multiplying fractions you multiply the top number so it's one times one over two times four and that's why a quarter of a half or a half of a quarter is one eighth okay so let's look at one more question three half times quarter Okay, so let us do the maths first and then let us look at that so when if you do the maths you multiply the top number so that is three times one over two times four which is three eight now when you do the maths only but don't understand what is how do you get three eight or how do you explain that uh, so this is one one three half 
it is nothing but one and one half. Three half is nothing but one and one half. So this is one whole, and this is this is also one whole. So I'm going to take away half from this. So this is let me take away these four sectors. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to delete it. So let us understand the match. So this is now you've got one whole and a half. So this is this is one whole, which is two halves, and this is half. Okay. So this is one whole is same as eight. This is this is divided into eight equal parts. So this is eight out of eight. This is eight out of eight, and this is one, two, three, four. It's four out of eight. So this is also a good explanation of one how one half is nothing but four eighths. And this one whole is nothing but two eight two two halves or eight eighths. Okay. So now the question is you want to split this into quarters. So let me first so let me so this is one group. So so this you want to divide into so each of them is one eighth. Okay, so this is one group. So this is the second group. So this is one group. So this is uh, one, two, three. So you want to divide into quarters. So this is four groups. So let me make four, four groups. So so this is four groups. So you're dividing this into quarters. So can you see this is four groups? So this is one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is one group, this is two group, this is the third group, and this is the fourth group. And in each of the group there are how many eights? So this is one eight, two eights, three eights. So this is so this is three eights. So this I hope you can understand three eight. This is also three eight. This is three eight, and this is three eight. I hope I have not confused you. So this whole thing was was we started with three halves. Okay, so three halves is one and one half, and that you're dividing into four groups. Okay, so here if you want to write the English, so here you're making a quarter. So how many quarters, so how many are groups of four? How many groups, or not groups of four? So how many quarters in three eight? Okay, so this three half times one quarter. So let me explain that. So three half times quarter is same as asking three half divided by four. This and this are the same. So here the question is when you divide three half into four equal groups, there are how much is there in each group? This and this are the same. Okay, so this is four out of one. So when you divide three halves into four groups, each group will have three eighths. And that's the maths behind this.